So first of all, thanks for everyone for coming out. I think um, it went way better than I expected. I was, um, a lot of really cool talks. What I wanted to talk about real quick um, is what happens in the next century of biology. If we want to truly make this uh, the 21st century about engineering biology, um, what do we want to do? And um, one thing that I thought is kind of developing now is that what got us here is comparing biology to other disciplines, to engineering, to chemistry, to physics, and kind of taking the lessons from there and extrapolating them into biology, much like what Christina talked about. Um, but the thing is, as we move forward, biology is really good at a lot of things, and we really want to take advantage of what, what biology can do. You know, biology um, changed the entire atmosphere from something that didn't have any oxygen in it to something with 20% oxygen that we could breathe. Um, biology can eat electricity, biology can make electricity. Um, biology can power itself entirely from sunlight and carbon dioxide and salt. So the idea is, what do we do move, moving forward? Um, and I think one, one thing that we should be looking into is, uh, what do we do besides engineering, E. coli, and yeast, and things that we're familiar with? How do we take things that already do something really cool, um, so I'm partial to cyanobacteria because they do a lot of cool stuff, and um, something that already does 99% of what we want it to do and just kind of uh, move it in the right direction. Instead of trying to engineer biological systems, what if we could sculpt them into the direction that we want um, them to be? Um, and what can we do if we can uh, harness these complex organism organisms? So I think uh, one thing that's going to be hard about that is taking um, organisms that we don't understand um, and seeing if we can change them and change them in you know minuscule ways um, to make them do uh, slightly cooler things than what they already do, because biology is cool, so.